What's up everybody? Jordan from Ginger Snap Disc Golf here. Today I want to talk to you about a concept that I think is going to get you from that 300 foot plus range all the way up to like 400 plus foot range. Also, if I sound a little nasally still, I'm sorry, still recovering from a sinus infection. So let's get straight into it. This concept that I'm talking about is this idea of pushing the disc through with your torso versus pulling the disc through with your arm. The whole idea is that once you have coiled and you start your pull through to get into that power pocket, the idea is that you don't move with your power pocket. You actually pull the disc through ahead with your arm. That motion is a way more fast and powerful motion than trying to move your torso super, super fast. You can tell in that first video that my shoulders move with my throwing arm and it looks in like normal speed, it looks like a normal powerful throw. But in the reality of it, it was a yanked grip lock shot, not very good. In the second throw, you could tell that when I did my pull through, my arm got just a little bit ahead of my chest. I'm gonna throw a couple example shots and measure out the distance so you can tell the difference of when I push the disc through, it's, I'm guessing it's gonna be about 350 versus when I pull the disc through, it should be closer to 400 plus. <sighs> All right, I'm not gonna lie, this is really confusing. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be because for a month I've been trying to teach myself not to push through and now I'm trying to like push, then pull, push, pull, push, pull. It's so confusing. <clears throat> That's the one. That should be smoked. For all you people out there who like want to know the why, and in the simplest way I can explain it, when you are doing your coil and you plant it and all the things, you can only move your torso so fast. Like you cannot spin your torso 50, 60, 70 miles per hour. You just can't do it. You can pull your arm through a whole lot quicker than you can move your torso through. So like obviously there's people on the pro tour and not on the pro tour that can pull their arm through at 50, 60, 70 miles per hour. I do want to point out though, when you start trying to figure out this concept, you're probably going to have some struggles with early release or even grip locks and late release. Um, it's just going to happen when you're practicing and you're learning new form. I'm coming out with a drill soon on how to practice on this in a very, very focused way. Um, but for now, one of the ways you can practice this idea of pulling the disc through versus pushing it, just do your normal throw drills, whatever they might be, whether it be into a net or out in the field or whatever. Don't look where your disc is going whatsoever. When you do your throw, pull the disc through and keep your head facing forward. Do not go and look and see where the disc is. Because I think a lot of people, myself included, the reason why we push the disc through is because we're so excited to see where the disc is gonna go, we forget that we have to get it out of the power pocket before we look for it. So it should look something like this. I do wanna warn you, if you don't have a net and you have to go do this in a field, I would do it in a very open field because being since you're not looking to see where the disc is going, you could lose your disc. It's kinda of cooked. You can even do this with a standstill as well. All you have to do is keep your head right here and that's gonna teach you how to get your arm ahead of your chest. When you do this, you will feel your body get to this place of tension to where your arm is going to drag your head and the rest of your body through. And some pros that do this really well is like Drew Gibson. Honestly though, uh, if you look at any pro, when they, if you look at their form and you pay attention, you can look it up in slow-mo, um, they all get to this point where they pull their arm and they keep their head down at this like peak moment of power. Their head is down, their arm is getting ahead, and then they follow through in this drill. It's really important that when you pull through, you let your weight come through with a follow through to prevent injury. So what I'm not saying do is when you throw the disc, just like sit here like a statue. What I am saying is really put your full focus on keeping your head forward when you throw teaches you to keep your head down at that peak point of power and then 
your body will follow through naturally. And as always, like I do with these drills, I would suggest doing them at about 50% power. And I'm not a form coach, I'm not a professional or anything like that. I'm just somebody who has learned through trial and error how to throw 400 foot plus consistently on golf lines. And I hope that what I learned can help y'all. As always, stay snappy. Love y'all. Peace. That didn't really go far, in case you were wondering. I was hoping it'd look cool, though.